Okay, I'm on Mumbai's Kolaba Causeway and my last stop in this episode, Paradise Restaurant. Now, Paradise has been here since 1957 and is famous for its Parsi food. But besides the Parsi food, they've got these dishes, these snacks, these, this food, which has just been created by only them. Come along and let's have our last stop, Paradise. And I'm hungry all over again. Come on. So here we are at Paradise and with me in Nehru. Hello, Hello. Kem Chow. You're very shy this day, yeah, this, this yeah, morning. Yeah. Otherwise, this lady talks a hell of a lot. Every time I come here, we have long, long conversations. Isn't that correct? Everybody comes and jabbers, jabbers, jabbers over here. Suddenly there's a silence even in the restaurant. But otherwise, this is a nice, busy, noisy place. Okay, before I go on and on about everything, tell me, this place has been here for like... 52 years. 52 yeah. years. That's a lot of time, huh? 1957, my husband started this. Yeah. Place. But it was started with just uh, snacks. Huh? Say chicken rolls, sandwiches, huh? hamburgers. Okay, before before I go into the, the food on the table, since you mentioned sandwiches and hamburgers, in 1957, you must have been one of the first people yeah, to introduce first hamburgers people in the country. country yes. Yeah, when yes. hamburgers were only available in America. Yes, we were the first people and uh, we started the Sizzlers too. Fantastic. Now, besides all the snacks which still remain on the menu, how many dishes from 1957 are still on the menu? Temptation is one. Okay. Then chicken rolls, uh -huh. chibara, uh -huh. and uh, then later on curry rice and dansa. All right. Then you slowly then introduce the Parsi food. Yeah, Parsi food. Some other favorite food. Okay. So let's just look at what is there on the table. This is sali boti, yeah. which is famous, which is a famous Parsi meat dish, yeah. which is masala mutton with uh, potato, potato straws, straws on yes. top. Yeah. This is dansa. This is the dansa, which is brown rice, rice and mutton and uh, dal cooked with masala and vegetables. Correct. And then, besides that, these are the things that I'm most interested in because this, this is chicken your favorite. roll, my favorite. Yeah, you always. Eat I always eat it. Yeah, this chicken roll. And what makes this chicken roll special is not the bread and it's not the chicken, but it's the mayonnaise that goes into this. This is a nice yeah. yellow, sticky, sweet mayonnaise. The mayonnaise is made by hand. It takes at least two to three hours to make it. To make this mayonnaise. Yeah, it's just with a bowl and we just use a spoon. Uh -huh. And the recipe is the same that everyone has. Okay. It's not a different recipe. It's only making it, you know, it's, gradually it's, it's the and adding, adding the oil gradually. Mm -hmm. That is different. That is how it is. So on that note, I'm going to taste this chicken roll. I cannot resist this chicken roll. You know that, you know? Mm -hmm. And look at this mayonnaise. It's yummy. It's delicious. It's sticky and it's sweet and it's delicious. Oh. Mm. With the same mayonnaise, you've got this wonderful dish which you call chicken lolly. lolly. It's basically chicken with a potato coating, yeah. dipped in batter and fried. We, we add a little sauce between the chicken. To the chicken? Yeah. Okay. We marinate it a little, huh. add it to the potatoes. To, okay. Yeah. And then we add the mayonnaise and the tomato sauce. Uh, On it. A few vegetables. But, uh, naam ke vegetables. Vaste. Yeah, naam, naam ke vaste. Presentable. presentable. Yeah. But tell me, this dish, the chicken lolly, is not available anywhere in the world. I've never eaten this anywhere. It's, a, it's our creation, that's why. Yeah. How did you think of making this? I don't know, I just wanted a non veg butter da butter. <laughs> okay, on that note, let's attack your non veg banana wana. Here we are, batter fried with mayo, the same famous mayo on it. I'm going to cut it open so that you can have a look at what is inside. Potato and chicken. Fantastic. This is delicious. Non veg banana, what I believe. I love you for this. It's crunchy on the outside, soft in the inside. You can try making it at home, but it will never work out like this. And now, this is the next signature dish of this restaurant Chicken Crunchy. Chicken Crunchy. Actually, it's uh, more like your Kentucky fried chicken, but I use a blessed piece of chicken mostly. Okay. And to get that crunchy, you know, see, they use bread crumbs. When they fry it. When they fry okay. the Kentucky, uh, with some spices. But I use uh, cornflakes to fry. Cornflakes? Cornflakes. So this outer coating that you see is just cornflakes? Yeah. Your idea only this is. 
That's my idea. She's yes. all shy and coy. What can I say? I'm going to try some of the chicken curry. And to add to the Indian palate taste, I use chutney with capsicum. So this is a capsicum with chutney. Chutney in it, green chutney. Hmm. Oh, wow. So capsicum with green chutney. Here. I like your green chutney. It's delicious. And of course, these are the dishes that make paradise what it is. On that note, I'm going to try some of your. Wonderful dancer. I'm behaving mm. like a complete hog. Yeah. Just a little bit for taste because I've been eating all day. And this is actually I'm my sure last I'm sure you'll eat more. Once Only you when start. the camera is switched off, I'll eat more. <laughs> so this is very nice. Nice and thick. Nice and spicy the way it should be. Delicious. Oh, mama. It has a lot of uh, garam masala, as you say. Yeah. The main uh, reason dansa tastes good is because I grind the masala. It's all fried and then it's pounded. Okay, I'm going to try the sali boti. Even just. sali boti has that masala. Dansa has it. My curry rice is uh, good with that masala. Mmm. Even this has the masala, and it's a wonderful idea, though. The Parsi is thought of putting cheese to uh, potato, potato straws. straws yeah. yeah. Crunchy? Parsis love eggs. They have eggs on everything. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> on potato straws and vegetables. On everything. So, Abhi, thank you very much. Welcome. I hope you are here for another 57 years. No. <laughs> no, you're saying? Why? <laughs> there are people who've been eating here for 57 years. Mm. Thank you so much, Abhi. Well, welcome. It's a pleasure. Yeah. It's a pleasure having you here. And now the challenge is finishing all this food at the table. <laughs> But well, that brings us to the end of this episode on the treasures of Mumbai. It's restaurants which make the fabric of the city. If you want to write to us, write to us at weekend at weekendtimesnow.tv. Till the next time, it's bye.